Good morning, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Asad Gonzalez with your tropics update. And of course, all the focus right now on Hurricane Maria and Hurricane Jose. But we'll start off with Hurricane Maria, which unfortunately is still bearing down on the Leeward Islands and it is becoming stronger. A category five, potentially catastrophic event for our friends in the Caribbean, especially the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, which could be dealing with a direct landfall here as we head into tomorrow. So here is the latest 8 a.m. advisory. Category 5 dangerous Hurricane Maria with max sustained winds 160 miles per hour, located 85 miles west of Guadalupe and moving west-northwest and 9 miles per hour forecast again to move into the Virgin Islands overnight tonight to tomorrow morning likely could remain a Category 5 at that time and then right now the Hurricane Center says that it could become a Category 4 as it heads towards Puerto Rico which just could be devastating here. As we look ahead to Thursday, it is likely going to be north or making its closest approach to Dominican Republic. Could be just to the northeast of Hispaniola, but still bringing a lot of rain and potentially some mudslides and flash flooding to parts of Hispaniola. Friday early in the morning, still a Category 4 near Turks and Caicos or just over these islands. And the Bahamas will also need to be closely monitoring Maria as right now, uh, parts of the Bahamas included in that cone as we head into the weekend could be impacted by Category 3 Maria at that time, although any little shift to the west could mean some more significant impacts for the Bahamas. And the reason why here in South Florida, although we are not in the cone at that time, we still need to keep a close eye on Maria is that as we look at the history of major hurricanes that have uh, developed in this region and we're seeing how many paths uh, these hurricanes have taken in the past obviously there's a lot of uncertainty as we head into the weekend although most of the guidance models for now are keeping Maria moving towards the Virgin Islands Puerto Rico and then most of them to the east of Florida, we can't let our guard down and we really need to stay prepared and vigilant over the next few days. And of course, we'll keep you updated. As we look at the hurricane warnings still in place for Dominica, Guadalupe, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, and right now, tropical storm warning in place for Martinique, uh, Barbuda, Anguilla. Hurricane warnings continue for the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, as well as St. Croix and Puerto Rico. And Hispaniola, Dominican Republic, right now, currently under Hurricane Watch and Tropical Storm Watch. Meantime, Hurricane Jose is hanging on to hurricane status, and it is a Category 1 at this time forecast to weaken as it moves to the north. Max is seen wind 75 miles per hour, located 350 miles south southwest of Nantucket, and forecast to veer off to the northeast as a tropical storm by tomorrow, eventually moving east Thursday by Friday, heading back south and looping back around, meandering as a depression into the weekend here just offshore of New England. And tropical storm warnings are in place right now for places like Boston, Cape Cod, Newport, New Haven, Long Island under a tropical storm watch. So with Jose off to the north and east and a blocking Atlantic high steering Maria currently over in the Caribbean, it looks like due to Jose lingering through the weekend, that will provide for a pathway of weakness in the steering currents so that Maria could be moving northward as we head into the weekend and staying away from the Florida coast, but we'll have to wait and see. It's still too early to tell. So there you see the big picture. Hurricane Jose off the coast of Northeast New England areas. Hurricane Maria uh, right now currently moving towards the uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands. And then, of course, we have the remnants of what once was Tropical Depression Lee. Uh, the last advisory was issued yesterday with the Hurricane Center, keeping an eye on that as well. We'll continue to update you here on CBSMiami.com.